God has made a habit of rescuing his people from difficulties. Peter was freed from a prison cell in the middle of the night. And while on the run, David was delivered from all of his fears. These stories are speaking into our own life situations. They remind us that God is closely involved with us. So, let's take a closer look at Peter and David's deliverance. In the book of Acts, we learn that King Herod had James put to death and it met with the approval of the Jews. So, he seized Peter and put him in prison for a public trial. He assigned soldiers to guard him around the clock. Two were chained to him, and there were two others guarding the doorways. Meanwhile, the church was earnestly praying to God for Peter. And the night before the trial, Peter was sleeping, and he was bound by two chains. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared, and light shone throughout all the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said. And the chains fell off of Peter's wrists. The angel said, put on your clothes and sandals and wrap your cloak around you, then follow me. Peter followed the angel out of the prison, but he had no idea what was happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city, and it opened up by itself, and they went through it. And when they had walked away, suddenly the angel left him. The Bible is filled with so many other stories of deliverance. The children of Israel were delivered from slavery in Egypt, Daniel from the lion's den, Esther from evil Haman, and Paul from shipwreck. And all believers are delivered from the curse and bondage of sin. Psalm 3.8 reminds us that from the Lord comes deliverance. Now, I don't think that we can always expect an angel to spring us from jail. But sometimes God shows us rescue in very clear ways. Often, that's in answer to earnest prayers of righteous people. Now, that doesn't mean that we're delivered from all hardship. For even Jesus himself said, In the world you will have tribulation. Now for the story of David. David was running from King Saul who was out to kill him. And David fled to a region that was ruled by a different king. But the servants of King Achish recognized David as a warrior hero. And when David realized that he was in danger, he became very afraid. So he began to pretend that he had a psychotic disorder. As the Bible says it, he pretended that he was insane. And he began making marks on the door, clawing at the door. And he let saliva run down his beard. King Achish reasoned that David was beside of himself and he sent him away. After this incident, David wrote Psalm 34. And I'm going to read the first seven verses. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. My soul will boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. And then the verse I'm really going to concentrate on for the rest of our time. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Now I can say this, as a naturally anxious and fearful person, 
that verse, verse 4, has been a great comfort to me. You know, our greatest hardships are often more than physical safety and health needs. They come in the form of inner turmoil, fear, anxiety, depression. And if you're a person who lives with consistent and unreasonable fear, if you're a person who stays awake with uncontrollable anxiety, if you're a person who lives under the cloud of depression, I want you to know this, that Christ is a solid foundation, a rock to settle you down into rest. In Christ, there is healing power for emotional and mental wounds. And in Christ, you'll find a starting point for moving forward. When He gives us Himself, He gives us deliverance. God can rescue us at a moment's notice without our help. Jonah was freed from the stomach of a big fish after all. But we also put ourselves in the shadow of the Almighty when we honestly rely on Him for direction and purpose, and when we consistently hear His words and follow them. Growing up, I used to listen to a podcast called Unshackled. Now, back when I was a kid, we actually called it a radio program. There weren't podcasts. But it told true life stories of real people being delivered from difficulties, whether that be alcoholism, depression, or the occult. And they always introduce the story with these words. That's when their life and mind and heart was unshackled. We could say that when God delivered us, we were unshackled. And our deliverance rests solidly in the finished work of Christ. There's a conversion, a new beginning, and a firm rootedness in Christ. Our key spiritual insight. In some form or fashion, God delivers those who fear Him. You can count on it.